Hi, I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Evolve Golf 2. Now, whether your goal is to drive the ball further, straighter, or drop your score, you'll definitely see the benefit of this workout on the course. And if you're not a golfer, it's still a great workout for strength, core, and flexibility. You guys ready to get warmed up? Ready. Let's go ahead and take our arms out to the side. Nice and easy Zen swing left and right. Go ahead and lift that heel. Let the upper body just twist side to side. You can keep your focus forward, or if you feel comfortable traveling with your hands, go ahead and take it with you. Couple more right here. Just want you to warm up the core. Keep the arms out nice and wide. It's just as important to warm up for golf as any other sport or activity. There is nothing worse than getting into trouble on the first tee because you didn't warm up. Last three, two, one. I want you to hold tight. I want you to bring your arms up, twist over to the right, all the way up overhead and over to the left. So it's an inhale lift, exhale twist, inhale lift, exhale twist. Keep your heels planted, twist. Last three, two, one. I want you to reach up, tap the inside of your knee. You're gonna have three mods here. Mod one is the easiest and mod three is the most difficult. Now you're gonna be able to change mods during the workout and that's okay because the program was specifically designed to allow you to be able to do so and still get an effective workout in. If you can, reach down and tap the instep of the foot right here. Otherwise, keep tapping the inside of that knee. I want the heart rate to get lifted and I want your body to start warming up right now. So over in mod one, you're gonna have Kamar. You see a mean Charles Barkley swing over here. Right? <laughs> a little better than that. How you feeling? <laughs> cool. In mod two, you're going to have Allison. Now, if you frequent the course and you're ready to move up from mod one to mod two, Allison's your girl. Just want to make sure you have a few rounds under your belt, right, Allison? I have. I used to work at a golf course, actually. This chick's going to be your mod two. Keep an eye on her. In mod three, holding it down is going to be Rye Guy. If you're ready to challenge yourself today and really take your game up a notch, mod three is your ticket. Remember, you can always evolve up or mod down depending on your level and how you feel today. Can we go into jumping jacks, guys? Nice wide arms, let the heels kiss the floor, nice and light on the feet. And if you feel okay right now, start to take the arms all the way up overhead. So really start to raise the heart rate right now. I want you to start feeling your breath in your lungs. So you're gonna probably recognize some of these movements from other Evolve programs. If you're ever unsure about any of them, go take a tutorial with Jana. And remember, always, always keep great form. Got a couple more, guys. We're gonna slow it down, and we're gonna go for hamstring curls. So I'm gonna reach back and tap your heel behind you. Three, two, one. It's a tap and a tap. Keep your arms moving and reach back for the heel. So as usual, we're gonna have two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blow at the end of each round. So listen, there's not gonna be any more embarrassing stories of injuries happening on the course because you didn't warm up properly. Cool? Ever happened to you? Yeah, a couple back tweaks. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Three, two, one, inhale the arms all the way up. And that completes our warm up right here. So we're gonna get into our first round of set A. And it starts off with the skinny tiptoe swinger. So get your feet right underneath your hips, lift up on your toes. And as you go down, I want you to take your arms out to the side. From here, you're gonna swing side to side. Cool? You gotta find that balance and give yourself a little bit of rotation. Three, two, one, and here we go. So it's gonna be really challenging to get down and stay up on the toes while you're swinging yourself around. It's hard to do even while you're standing up. So we're adding in some variables right now, yeah? Letting the core rotate and keeping your balance. So you're gonna see in mod one right here, Kamar is giving me a little less depth in his squat. His heels are still lifted and he's working on taking it a little bit lower. Got that warm up in, man, right? We're already sweating from the warm up. I love it. High five on the swing. Yeah. Cool. You're seeing in mod two right here, the depth of the squat gets a little bit lower. Her knees are forward. Kamar, go ahead and take your feet a little bit more narrow together. That's perfect right there. It looks great. Excellent, Allison. Keep it up, you guys. Three, two, one, and relax. Single leg deadlift with airplane. So take your right leg back behind you. Arms go out to the side. Thumbs go up. So we're coming forward. We're gonna drop our right hand down towards our leg and left hand down towards the leg. So you're gonna cross down, lift, open, lift. Time starts in three, two, one. 
right leg starts. We're gonna stay on this right hand side for half the time and then we'll go ahead and switch. So staying nice and solid on that leg. Just nice and easy. Find your balance, come right back into it. That's perfect. I want a nice pause at the bottom. You feel what's happening, right? That's perfect right there. Go ahead and switch sides. Now keeping your balance while rotating the upper body. It's the same thing essentially as our swinger on our tiptoes. But you really gotta keep that core nice and tight. Flex this back foot. Really pull through the heel, push your heel back. That's perfect, Ryan. You got five more seconds. It's not an easy one. You guys gotta keep that balance. Press out of the standing leg. Three, two, one, and relax. Good job, everyone. Our tipsy Saxons coming up. Hands up overhead, thumbs back behind you. Roll the shoulders back and get them behind you. So we're gonna come over to the right, lift, back through center, over to the left, back through center. Let's take two seconds. We're all gonna go together in three, two, one. Here we go. It's one, two, hold. And one, two, hold. Try every time as you get warmed up to go a little further to the side each time you go. Now you're gonna see in mod one right here, his feet are planted and his hips are nice and quiet. You can bring those arms up a little bit much higher. Look at that, reach. Keep your head between your arms. Kamar, this looks perfect. Close that rib cage together. That's beautiful right there. Don't sacrifice that form when I walk away. Got my eyes on you. In mod two right here, Allison's lifting up her heel. So transferring her weight from right to left, but still connecting that toe to the floor. This is three, two, one, and relax. Squatting force field swinger coming up next. So I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Plant your feet, bend at the waist, keep a nice flat back, and drop your hands down in front of you. They're not touching. We're gonna open up our right hand slow. Nice hit center. Open, hit. Now if you notice when I'm coming over, I'm in a 90 degree squat right now. I'm slowly lifting it, driving it down. Slowly lifting it, driving it down in three, two, one. Think about when you're going for that drive, right? So it's a slow controlled backswing and as you come through center, you're gonna feel the core really tighten up and find that center right where the ball would be, right center, okay? Nice controlled backswing, replace that hand. Let me hear that breath, exhale. That's it, Ryan, that's perfect. You see his back arm open all the way up. 90 degree squat, complete rotation back behind you. Keep that arm nice and straight. Give me another one. Nice, Allison. So a little less depth in her squat right here. It's about 70 degrees in the squat. Her chest is still nice and flat over. Her belly sucked in and her lower back is completely contracted. Three, two, one, and that's it right there, guys. We have our dancing bridge. Let's come down to the floor. So I want you to come up onto your hands. I want you to lift your hips up nice and tall and extend one leg out at a time. We got it, Kamar? Cool, let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Hips up. So you're gonna see Kamar in mod one right here, lowering his hips and driving his hips up nice and high. A lot of your power in your swing is going to come from your hips. So the more power you have from the glutes and the lower back, the more the hips are going to be able to power through and really give some oomph to your drive, yeah? Exhale as the hips come up. There it is, look at that. So we're starting to incorporate a knee lift in mod two right here. Allison's lifting one leg at a time. She's still gonna keep her hips lifted. And now as you get tired, the hips start to drop. So I really want you to focus on pushing through the heel and lifting up. Even as you're transferring weight one to the next. In three, two, one, lay it all the way down. We have windshield wipers coming up next. So I want you to take your hands out to the side, feet come straight up, and we're gonna rotate our legs over to the right, straight legs, up through center, over to the left, exhale up through center. You're gonna have two seconds to go down and hover. Let's do it all together, guys, ready? Flex those feet, three, two, one. It goes inhale, inhale, hold. Exhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, up and over. That's perfect right there. Keep moving. It's about complete core control. That's something you're gonna hear me say over and over. Getting the strength in your body, combining it with control is where you're really gonna find your sweet spot. Look at this hover. It's completely 
rotated in his abs, and he's holding it to find that nice hover at the bottom. How are we feeling? This is an ab burner right That's here. Great. But it does feel awesome. The spine's getting wrung out, feels great. Three, two, one, and let's just flip it over. We have our prone snow angel coming up. So we're gonna lay down on our belly, hands down by your side. Focus to the floor. Don't worry, your face won't be there very long. You're gonna exhale, lift up. We're gonna open everything up at the top. Exhale, bring it back in. As you inhale, arms reach out. And exhale, lift a little higher. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So, something that never changes for me in any mod, right, is going to be the legs lifting. And he just fixed it for me, getting the thighs up off the floor and the legs stay nice and straight. Man, I love it when I come around and they fix their form for me. It's beautiful. Get it, Kamar. Hold tight right there, guys. Now you're gonna see a mod two. There's a full extension, open, close, and a lower at the bottom. It's an open, it's a close, and it's a release. Exhale, lift, inhale, exhale, inhale down. Exhale, lift, inhale, open, exhale, close, lower down. Start to utilize your breath in your movements. It'll help. Three, two, one, and pop it up, guys. We have our first blowout coming up, and it's right, jump twists go. and wacky jacks. You guys are gonna love this one. Time to take a heart rate up. Hands up overhead, jump twist side to side. Full 180 with the feet into wacky jacks. Hands behind your head, elbow to knee, and really crank it out. Cool? All right, Follow your this, mod, guys. and I want you to stick to it. Three, two, one, and let's go. You have 90 seconds to knock this out of the water. We're gonna go really, really slow to start. Can we slow it down? Three, two, one, left, right. Left, right, quicker, left, right, left, right, quicker, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. That's perfect right there. Keep the heels together, keep the toes together. Arms out in front, arms up overhead, or arms on your hips, doesn't matter to me. Wacky Jackson, three, two, one, here we go. Get those knees to the elbows. I want you to take that upper body over to the side. Kind of gets you out of breath a little bit, huh? <laughs> Just go. a little bit? How are we feeling? <sighs> Can you talk a little bit? <sighs> Just a little bit. You have 10 more seconds. Are you sure? Yeah. You, you got it? Guys. Don't die on me. You're there in three. You're there in two. You're there in one. Back to the jump twist. That was a killer 30 seconds, guys. Come on. Almost through, almost through. You see her feet going 45 to 45, yeah? A little less than 90. Ryan's hitting a full side to side. Don't Almost sacrifice there, that form. Final wacky jacks in three, two, one. Here we go. All on, you got guys. is 12 oh. seconds. Come on, guys. Here we go. Keep it up. I'm with you. Let's take it home. We got five, four, three, two, one. And go ahead and shake it out. Yep, guys. You have a 45 second break. Use it wisely. I want you to go ahead and get a sip of water. Stay nice and hydrated. Oh, baby. How are we feeling, Kamar? Really feeling there. It's only M1 as well. I'm already sweating. <laughs> <sighs> Strong legs for stance, solid core for swings, and loose hips for maximum power. If you miss one ingredient, your famous chili doesn't win any more prizes. Let's do it again. You guys ready? Oh, yes. Let's do this. You sure? Ready? That's it. Well, I like the sure sweat. <laughs> Second round of set A. Skinny tiptoe swingers starting up right at the top. Feet directly underneath your hips. Let's lift our heels all together. And as we lower down, find your max depth and start to swing it out right here. Keep the chest up nice and tall. The minute I take my chest forward, I'm really gonna lose it. Not only am I gonna pull my lower back, but I sacrifice using all that core power. Let's start in three, two, one. Lower down and swing it out. So you're gonna see a mod two right here. Again, little less depth in the squat than mod three. About 70 degrees right here. So the way you're gonna keep your balance is not just pulling the belly in and lifting up nice and tall, but it's also lifting the heels up to your bum. So if you lift it all the way up, you're gonna feel the back of the leg and the glute engage way more. And that's gonna be really helpful. Again, when you're going into your swing, you're driving through, it's all glute action right here. 
Keep going. We got about 10 more seconds. Ryan, how are we feeling? Good. Solid as a rock? Yeah, I love it. You look great. No wind blowing you over right here. I'm on the course today. <laughs> Just trying to cool you off a little bit. Three, two, one. Relax, guys. Single leg deadlift airplane coming up next. Arms out to a T. Let's lower all the way down first. We're going to twist. Three, two, one. Hold. Center. Three, two, one. Hold. Center. Let's go in three, two, one. Right leg starts. So staying nice and solid on that leg. If your ankle's wobbling around at all, I want you to press this big toe into the floor. Press it down. Tighten it up. So here you got it. Pull up from the kneecap. Squeeze the glute. You got it. Find your balance. Come right back into it. That's perfect. When you're ready, go ahead and switch sides. Left leg back up behind you. I'm going to stick with you this whole time. I want, I want to see you get this. Perfect. She has a nice flat line and she's actually giving me that fired up back leg. This back leg is gonna make a huge difference in keeping your balance, right? Which is pivotal for your golf game. Normally you're on two feet, but here you're on one, further challenging you to go above and beyond what's normally required. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, sugar right there. Tipsy Saxon coming up. Hands up overhead, thumbs back. We're gonna slightly bend our knees, so as we reach up and over, we find that nice length. Back through center, over to the left, back through center. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So this isn't just about balance, it's about extending, right? I want Ryan, and the next time he comes over to me to this right-hand side, I want you to reach this right hand all the way out, left hand up and over. Then drive that heel back behind you. That's it right there. You feel the length in the side of your body, right? I want you to reach out of your shoulder and then away from your hip. Fire up this foot. Got it again. Let's see it. Fire up this foot. Flex it. Extend. That's perfect. So we're just trying to extend as far as we can. Really open up and lengthen out the body. You guys have less than 15 seconds. Keep those arms nice and narrow, yeah? Love the smile. We're loving this move right here. Little tipsy Saxon. One high five in three, two, one. Over the top. There we go. Squatting force field swinger. So again, we're gonna find 90 degrees first in our squat. Take your hands down in front of you. And then as we open, it's a drive down and switch. Nice and solid, slow on the top, and drive it down. Three, two, one, and let's begin. We're opening up the shoulder, opening up the chest, driving it down, being specific where our hand stops. I want you to see, I need to see, where your T is. I want you to hit the same spot every time. In order to be good at anything, you have to practice a million times. You practice your jump shot how many times? Exactly, every single day. This is something you can do every single day. You guys got about 15 more seconds. Rock and roll with it, keep the belly nice and tight. Something that happens every time we come over, most of the time, belly is hanging out. Suck it in, it's natural, it happens. You just have to think about it. You got it? Three, two, one, and relax. Dancing bridge, come on down. We're gonna go ahead and place our hands, fingers face back behind you. Walk your heels in nice and close, and then go ahead and lift up. Kick right, kick left. Kick right, kick left. Here we go in three, two, one, let's begin. Now, just when you're lifting up, the minute you turn your hands around, you feel a nice release in your forearms, right? So when you're holding your clubs and you're always having that grip, a lot of times the extensors in our forearms never get that release. So first of all, this is gonna feel amazing, even if it's a little foreign to your body, but I want you to press out of those fingertips and really get the shoulder directly over your wrist. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And the heels are gonna be the driving force. Connect all the way up. Think about the back side of the leg right here. How we doing, Rye Guy? Feeling it, this feels great. It does feel great. I see the sweat here. That means you're working hard. Not an easy one, right? No. No, man. Three, two, one. Exhale and give me a high five. Rock and roll. Windshield wipers lay down on your back. One of my faves. Hands out to the side, feet flex over your hips. One, two, hold. One, two, hold. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go, over to the right. One, two, hold over the top and hold. Now, taking your feet all the way up 
and taking the weight away from your body becomes a lot more challenging. If you're holding a five pound dumbbell here, the minute you take it out, it becomes 10, and the minute you take it away from you, it becomes 15. Legs are the same. If they're bent like here in mod one, there's not as much resistance on the bot. If they're gonna be up and over, you're gonna have a little bit more resistance right here. They're still not all the way up at 90 degrees, a little bit out in front of you, a slight bend in the knee right here. And then all the way up in mod three is that straight leg, 90 degrees. You got three, two, one, flip it over, guys. Oh. Prone snow angel coming up next. Core's on fire. Oh, yes. <laughs> Everything's on fire. <laughs> Whole body's working here. Hands down by your side, exhale, lift up for me. Open up on an inhale, exhale, lift a little higher. Inhale, open up, exhale, close back. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, and begin. Inhale, open, exhale, close. So I want you to stay nice and lifted. Think about the back side of your body. In golf, everything we see happens in front of us. But most of the time, when you're bending over, it's your lower back that you're gonna feel it in, right? It's very common with all the rotation and bending that you do in golf to feel it in the lower back often feeling strained from not having enough lower back strength to support all this movement. That is what we want to avoid by building up that complex arrangement of muscles in your lower back. And this exercise is perfect for doing that. The lower back is extending up, right? And we're staying lifted because of the lower back. Back side of the body working all together. Nice, Ryan. Three, two, one. Go ahead and relax, guys. Stand it on up. Not too much of a break. We have our blowout coming All up, right. and it's jump twists and wacky jacks. You ready? Let's go. Let's yes. go. Got it. Got it. Oh, Let's yeah. go. Three, two, one. Jump twist. Here we go. Let's get it, guys. You guys want to play the game? Here we go. Tomorrow, you want to call us into wacky jacks? All right. You let us know when. All right, I'll tell you when. Okay, tell us when. I'm kind of nervous. Five more. What happened? What I just gave away. I gave you the power. Give me the power. Oh my goodness. Just for a second. I can take it back at any minute. <laughs> Please don't. You ready? One, two, three. Wacky jacks. Oh baby. Here we go. You're still in control. Come still on. In control. Yes, it's open. Let's go, Ryan. Faster, 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 faster. Uh, what do you got? Come on. What do you got? Come on. Uh, I can do this all day. Come on. Uh, Toss Rebecca, it over to Ryan. Rebecca, take, it, take control. Three, two, one, jump yeah, twist. Yeah, Ryan, yeah. it's all you. Keep us here. Uh, Call us into Wacky Jacks. You can take us in and out. All right, come on. Keep it going. Uh, with us, Allison. All right. All right. When are we going to get wacky? Two, two, three, wacky. Oh, yeah. Let's go. How are we doing, Ryan? Keep How much going. longer? Keep it going. Oh, all right. More wacky. More wacky. Right, here we go. Get a little more wacky. I want you to pass it off to Allison soon. All right, Quickly. Allison, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Where are we guys, going? Take it away. All right, power's in my hands. All right, enough of getting wacky. Let's twist it out. There we go. Now we're in it. All right, speed it up. Last 10 seconds. Come on, guys, let's go. Push Come on, it. you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, excellent uh, job, guys. Good job, guys. Go ahead and shake it out. You have 45 seconds to catch your breath. If you need a sip of water, now is the time to go get it. Now, I've heard golf being referred to as lazy man sport sometimes, but man, imagine how many calories you'd burn if you actually walked. And as a matter of fact, while you're at it, why don't you carry your clubs? Boom. You carry oh, your own clubs? Always. Carry your own clubs? Oh yeah. And that's what's up. <laughs> okay guys, first round of set B, here we go. Now, we're gonna do another two rounds of seven exercises with a cardio blowout at the end of each round. First round of set B starts with a twisting knee drive. Looks like this. Hands in waking position. You're gonna drive that right leg back behind you and as you twist up, it comes open. Lower down and open. Right elbow to right knee. In three, two, one, here we go. Now this is gonna feel really wonky the first time you do it. Cause we're used to twisting towards our knee. In this exercise, we're focused on improving our follow through and building our balance to do so. So when we're twisting away from our lifting leg, we have to really squeeze our booty, lift up in the core. Switch legs. We feel the twist, right? Perfect. This looks great. Perfect. Drop that left knee. 
come up and then twist. Her hands are stacked one on top of the other and her elbows are directly in the same line. Mod two, still twisting away and back through center and then drop it down. That's three, two, one, and shake it out. Single leg deadlift with our force field swinger. So it looks like this, right leg back behind you. I want you to take your arms into a nice T position and lower forward into a deadlift. You're gonna take your hands down in front of you, open up the right hand, switch, and shoo, there we go. And now you're at it. So it's the same force field swinger. We're just progressing it into our single leg deadlift. Let's go in three, two, one, begin. Solid standing leg. That's what I found that we need to make happen, right? Hands start in front of you and you're alternating. Open up the right, shoo, down through left, down to left. Now remember, Another great way to find your balance and to stay right where you need to be is to find a spot on the ground. Let's switch legs, left leg back behind you. Don't take your eyes off the prize. Just like if you're at the end of a balance beam, I want you to see the opposite end. That's where your focus is. If you keep your eyes on the prize, you'll never wobble, never go anywhere. You can hold it all day long. It would be the same thing as having the golf ball right in front of you. Never take your eyes off the prize. Three, two, one, and recover, guys. We have our hay baler with forward lunge coming up. Right leg is gonna lead this. As we come down, you go to the inside of your leg, throw it up over, step back. Inside of your leg, throw it up over, step back. Alternating sides, starting with our right in three, two, one, here we go. So in mod two right here, we're not gonna have a full 90 degree lunge, yeah? Only 70. Only 70, perfect. Get your protractor out. Let's see. That looks good to me, baby. Now, as your legs start to get that strength, you've moved all the way through golf one. You're right in the middle of golf two right here. Your legs should be nice and woken up. You feel your legs burning right here? Oh yeah, feeling I want you to start progressing the depth and range of motion in your squats, in your lunges. Really sink into that heel. Reach up and over. Inhale down, exhale, throw. And same thing applies right here. Range of motion stops at 30, and we're gonna start to add on that nice core twist. Three, two, one, and relax, guys. So we're gonna come right down into advanced push swing pull, and it comes from a star plank from your side. So your top leg is lifted. You're gonna give me that nice tight fist. It goes push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull. Let's go all together, guys. Opening to the right-hand side first. Half the time on the right. Time starts in three, two, one, and let's begin. So it's a push, swing, pull. And it's gonna be just like one of the moves you've done before. We've done it standing up. It's a complicated move, has a ton of different layers to it. This would be a great time to go check out the tutorial and figure out which mod is gonna work for you. You're gonna see in mod one right here, Kamar's feet are staggered, not stacked. Switch sides. His top leg is in front of his bottom. He's on the inside and outer edge of his feet. So I want you to come to the inside of your foot, flex that foot, really tighten up the ankle. That's gonna be better, right? Good. So same arms, it's a push, a swing, and a pull. Allison in mod two right here, feet are stacked. And the cherry on top is gonna be in mod three with that leg lifted. Three, two, one, lower down guys. We have our walking bridge coming up. So I want you to come from your forearms. I want you to stack the shoulders directly over the elbows. Open up your fingers, flex your feet, lift up, and it's four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Let's go all together. In three, two, one, here we go. Out, 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 in, 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 in. Now, your shoulders are gonna get a little tired. Your legs are gonna get a little tired. You're gonna get out of breath. It's gonna happen. Accept that, and things that you can think about that you're in control of are going to be keeping your form, right? So don't sacrifice your form to blow through this. I'd rather you drop down a mod if you need to, because hey, we're in the middle of set B right here. I know you guys have the strength in you, so I want you to choose whatever mod is gonna work for you and just own it. Drive the heels in and up with the hips. Up, up, up. You got it, Ryan? I got it. Little shaking going on right here. Not an easy one. It's just real in the field, baby. You got it. I love the smile. Three, two, one, and relax. Flip it over. We got our sewing there. Sometimes things just hurt so good, right? <laughs> That's one of them, right in the core. Lift the knees up off the floor, just into a hover. 
Left leg is gonna lift up. You're gonna take your right hand over to the side, wrap around and crunch. Open to the side, wrap around and crunch. Time starts in three, two, one. This is the sewing bear. You have the sewing the needle through, and the bear has the leg lifted off the floor. Again, another layered and complicated movement. Tutorials are going to be your best friend. Go check it out. I'll be right here waiting for you. Knees off the floor in that hover. Good way to start learning this one in mod one. Let's switch sides right here and see what's up with his left arm. It's a nice bent arm, elbow coming up to 90 degrees, whoosh, and right back under. So he still only has three points of contact with the floor. In mod two, Allison's gonna have her knees off the floor again, and she's extending the arm all the way out to the side a little bit more. Gap retraction right here, a little bit more. Squeeze, 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 that's it. In three, two, one. Excellent job, guys. Single leg chest opener, we gotta stand it up. Looks like this. Lots of balance right here, single leg, cool. Right leg is lifted, hands are out in front. I want you to follow your right hand as you open, bring it back through center, left arm open, back through center. This is gonna be a tricky one, let's do it. In three, two, one, here we go. Now this is gonna be one of those movements that's gonna require maybe not a lot of strength, but a lot of coordination between the mind and the body. I want you to focus. Focus is a huge part of the game of golf, right? We have to focus on finding our balance. Traveling your eyes with your hand, let's switch legs, is really, really tricky. So mod one right here, the foot's just barely off the floor. The arms stop at 90 degrees out to the side. Boom. And you're gonna see an Allison mod two back here. She opens it a little bit more back behind her. And she's gonna pause at the back. One, two, three. And bring it all the way back in. Mod three, opening and closing. You got three, two, one, and relax, guys. We got monkey arms and standing fire hydrants for our first blowout of set B. Uh, got it? Yeah, got okay, it. so monkey arms up and over, and you're gonna be twisting side to side. Have fun with this one. <laughs> and standing fire hydrants, it's gonna be nice and solid. Right leg, left arm. And then we'll go ahead and switch. And then we'll pull it right back into monkey arms, okay? Get on your toes. Let's have a lot of fun with this. In three, two, monkey arms up the top. Shoo, 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 shoo. So we're opening up the chest, we're opening up the shoulders, opening up the back, letting the side body lift us. It's just like that Saxon side bend because we're taking the body side to side. We're opening up even more. You ever do any shoulder exercises before you play hockey? All the time. Same thing applies to golf, right? We have to be able to handle that stick or handle our club. Big, huge range of motion in the upper body when you're going into your drive. You guys get about five more seconds. We're gonna go into our right standing fire hydrant in three, two, one, let's go. Slow it down, this is where you're gonna catch your breath. Right leg, left arm. Here's a great way to really build up your balance so that next time we go into those openers, it's gonna be a lot easier, right? A little less range of motion, over to 90, over to 90. This feels like a breeze, yeah? So lots of core balance. Give yourself resistance. Remember those fists that we've done before? Tight fists, Stay squeeze focused, through the guys. arms, squeeze through the fingers, press, press, press. Switch legs right here, left leg, right arm goes into the twist. Keep that elbow lifted, you got it? We're gonna finish off with monkey arms in eight seconds and I want you to go as big in the range of motion as you can and as fast as you can in three, two, one. Finish up right here, you have 10 ahead. seconds. Uh, here we go guys, this is it. Come on, come on, get that heart rate up. Push it. Sweat it out, let's go. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. You just yeah, got yourself guys. another 45 second break. Good work. Team, how are we feeling? Oh, man, feeling back's good. Sore. Back's on fire, yeah? yeah? Gotta focus on it. Hydrate with some water right here. It'll help you really just cool down. Okay, so here's the deal. Golf is a rotational sport that requires torque to generate your speed, your power, and your direction. This workout places an emphasis on the rotational ability. So think about anytime we're opening up, anytime we're twisting over, gives you that same exact motion that you'll be using right out on the course, okay? We got to do this one more time. Second round of set B, how are we feeling? Ready to cool. go. Let's do it. They're ready, you. Twisting knee drive. Right leg back behind you, hands in waking. 
Roll the hair behind the ears. Down, down, and twist. Down, twist. Here we go in three, two, okay. one. Let's begin. Right knee drops back behind you. Twist away, right? Here's that rotation that I was just talking about. Drop it down, exhale, twist. It's gonna feel a little wonky, a little less wonky this time. Now that we're in our second round, right? Yeah, it's easier this time. It's easier this time. You know what you need to do. Lift and pull up. Here's a little trick. Maybe you wanna use it on the course. Three, two, switch legs. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. Can you all do this for me? You don't need to talk, don't say anything. <laughs> you gotta push up. Once your tongue is there, lift. It's automatically gonna lift. I'm gonna show you. You see a little tiny lift. It's very, very little, but it's gonna give you that center of gravity and help you stay nice and tall. There we go. Three, two, one, and recover. Good work. Shake out the legs, because we have single leg deadlift with our force field swinger coming up. Right leg back behind you. Hands come directly in front. Now remember, this is not gonna be okay for me. Keep the back leg up and lifted. Down, down. Find your balance, then start to move the arms. Three, two, one, let's begin. We're gonna stay on this right hand side before we switch, okay? So if I need you to keep that focus right in front of you, do not forget about this back leg. Now that we're opening up the arms, right, Kamar? Don't forget about it. Just a little test for you. Keep the core nice and tight. Arm up to 90. Excellent work, switch legs. Left leg back behind you. I need to see the toe to the floor and the heel up to the ceiling. Flex, flex, flex. Pull up from your kneecap, squeeze your glute, pull the abs nice and tight. You got this? Got it. Bobbles are okay as long as you stand there, catch your balance, and then keep moving, right? That looks perfect, Ryan. How are we feeling? Golf is a really sweaty sport. <laughs> you got today. three, two, one. Exhale, we have our hay baler forward lunge. I love this one. Waking up the legs, coming down in front, throwing up over, it goes inside, outside, step. Inside, outside, step. As you go down, make sure it's heel, toe, and then push off, toe, heel. You got it? Three, two, one, let's see it. Inside to outside. Can you throw something a little heavier for me? There we go. You this bell? I I'll catch it. I'll go long, side bound. There we go. Nice work, guys. Check it out in mod two right here. Inside of the knee, dropping down to 70 degrees, up and over. She's carrying the same load as mod three. Intensity of your throw is still the same. Intensity of your power, of your drive is still the same. It doesn't change. You need to be able to drive long, nice and straight. Be specific with your movement. Hit the mark every time. Let's see it. A little heavier than that. Come on, man. I know you got it. Uh, Keep pushing better. it. Don't fake it. Come on. There it is. Three, two, one, and relax. We have our advanced. Push swing, pull plank, and it's coming from star plank. Let's bring it down. I want you guys to do it with me. Here we go. In three, open up to the right, two. Get your starting position, and one. Here we go. It's a push, swing, pull. It's a push, swing, pull. It's a push, swing, pull. That's perfect. Doesn't matter what pace you're on right here. I want you to go at your own pace. I want you to picture the underneath side of your body lifting you up. Let's switch sides right here, right hand down. Top leg is in front of the other. If you're stacking your feet in mod one, get a nice straight line right here. That looks great, I feel confident in it. He's not going anywhere. It's a big push, it's a swing and a pull. Get that palm up as you're pulling it in. There it is, push it again, pull it in. Nice, Allison, this is great. Flex those feet, get three. Get two, nice work, and one, exhale. We have our walking bridge coming up. Don't go too far, we're coming down to our forearms. Again, forearms stacked. If you're out here, you're gonna sink down. Nice and narrow with the elbows. Walk the feet in, lift the hips up, then begin your walk. Four out, four in. Three, two, one. This is Ryan's favorite. <laughs> it's a little shaky, but that's okay. A little shake goes a long way. That shake will eventually go away. All this weakness is leaving your body. Everything's temporary. All the soreness, all the discomfort, everything is temporary. It makes you stronger every single time. I want your game to get better. I want you to stick with these movements, and it will. It's just gonna happen. The more strength you have, 
the more you're gonna see it on the field, on the course, yeah? On the course. On the course. I don't play in the field, Rebecca. Nobody plays it. <laughs> oh, well, unless they're pretty terrible. <laughs> walk those feet Beautiful. all the way out. Full extension of the legs. Nice. Really walk the feet out. And even though the hips are lowering, they're gonna raise as they come in. Three, two, one, and relax. Excellent, excellent job. Sometimes you just gotta take your mind off of it, right? Cool. Sewing bear, right? I got you. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees up off the floor. From here, then find your little leg lift. Take your right arm out to the side and then wrap around. Reach and wrap around. It's not an easy one, so find your balance first, then begin to move the arm. Three, two, one, and let's begin. That's the name of the game here, man. Challenging yourself. It's all about stability. It's about focusing on the movement and the way you feel. You really need to focus on creating muscle memory. The only way your muscles remember what they're doing and what they're supposed to be doing is through repetition. Let's switch sides. You gotta do it over and over and over. And if this is your first time doing this or your 15th time doing this, it's gonna get better and better and easier every single time. So that's why form is so important. If you're doing it wrong, your muscles are going to learn it wrong and remember it wrong. You gotta start with mod one. If you're not familiar with the movement, work your mods so that you're going to do it correctly. You have three, two, dap it out. Nice work, drop it down and stand it up. Now I'm gonna test Ryan out. I wanna see a single leg chest opener. All right, here we go. Right leg lifted first, you ready? Open it up, hold it. Follow the hand, three, two, one. Back through center, open to the left. Three second pause when you get there. Three, two, one, back through center. That was killer, nice work. Let's all join in. Three, two, one, and here we go. Now don't be afraid, this is a really challenging one to find your mod here, yeah? So no matter what it is that you're doing, it's gonna be okay. Because the only way you have to go is up. You're always gonna get better. Mod one right here, foot just off the floor, less range of motion, hand goes out to the side, still traveling with your eyes. Three, two, one, switch legs. Mod two right here, she's gonna go a little less range of motion, but still opening up past that 90 degrees, still traveling with her eyes, and the leg is a little bit lower. But hey, listen, it's not like you're balancing on a tightrope right here, yeah? If you need to tap that toe down, it's there, it comes right back up, catch your balance and get right back into it. Start it out again, you have three, two, one, and relax guys, we have our blowout coming up. All right, it's here we monkey go. arms and standing fire hydrants. I wanna start with the monkey arms really quick just to open up the body. And we're gonna travel in and out of these nice and quick. In three, two, here we go. one, right arm up. Here we go, shh, shh. side to side. Really open it nice and tall. Start to inhale, exhale as you go. So you're gonna see a mod one right here. There's an open and a lift, open, lift, open, lift. It's the newest, hottest dance move. Kamara's gonna break it down right here. There it is, there it is. Get it, get it, let's go. And, 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 hey, three, two, one. Standing fire hydrant, thanks for playing along. Right leg, left arm, there we go. Right leg out to the side, left arm. I want four more reps, and as soon as you're done with your four, I want you right back into monkey arms. You ready? I'm ready. You sure? I'm sure. Here we go, what are you on? That's Last it right one. there. There we go. go. Monkey arms, let's get it. I just love watching this. <laughs> side to side. Allison's gonna stand up nice and tall. We're gonna go into our left side standing fire hydrant in five, four, three, two, one. Find your balance. You have six reps right now. You have five, lift, four, lift, three, two, back into monkey arms. Last one. Be nice and wide, side to side. Here we go. Right fire hydrant one, here we go. Right fire hydrant one. Left fire hydrant one. Monkey arms in three, two, one. Here we go, side to side. You have three, you have two, one, and shake it out. Let it go, let it go. Congratulations, guys. That was Evolve Golf 2 standard program. You gotta cool down with me. Let's grab a sip of water, and we'll bring it back to our mats and get cooled down all together. Team style. Some lessons on that. <laughs> Teamwork, huh? Wingmen. Got a girl. Okay, guys. That was a 10 for her. She was rocking it back there. You see her? 
Let's get cool down all together. Open the arms up nice and wide. Zen swing right here. Something that just feels good just to start it off. We're gonna get the legs, we're gonna get the shoulders, we're gonna get the low back. Because hey, whole body was working hard here today. If you are sweating it all, there's lots of success, babe. You have four more. Three, two, one. Bring your hands back behind you and kick two on the right, switch, two on the left. Two on the right, kick, kick, switch, kick, kick. So to play a well-rounded game, you need equally strong upper body, lower body, and core. Those are the tools you need for a strong drive, good chip shots, and smooth putts. And if you can, try the Extended Golf 2 program for an added stretch element. Last three, two, one. Scoop up and hug that right knee into your chest. Stay up nice and tall, roll the ankle out right here. We're gonna do something fun. I want you to cross your ankle over, make a nice figure four right here, and sink down back hips behind you. You can cradle your foot with your left hand, and then with your right hand, push that knee away. This is really gonna open up the hips, piriformis, and the glutes. So sink back. The lower you sit, the more your chest comes forward, the deeper you're gonna feel the stretch. Inhale for me. Exhale, sink a little further. Three, two, one, release. Pull that left leg up in front of you. Does that feel good? Great. That felt great. Yeah, it requires a little balance, but hey, you can always do this one seated as well. Cross a figure four. Go ahead and sink down. Cradle your foot with your right hand. Use your left hand to really push that knee away from you. And then go ahead on an exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale for me. Exhale, sink. Hold it, three, two, one. Roll it all the way up. Step your feet out nice and wide. I want you to curl the spine, arch down. Spine to the ceiling, drop your head, roll up. One more like that. Inhale, arch down. Exhale, all the way up on a roll. Roll the shoulders front to back. One, two, last one right now. Reverse it, back to front. Three, two, one. Interlace the hands all the way up. Press up, bring your feet together. And as you exhale, right back down into a nice golf clap. Hey guys, congratulations one last time. Bring it in team. I'm so proud of you guys today. I'm Rebecca, this is my team, and this is Evolve.